Hey, welcome to another video. I've been pestered to death with comments on making uh, making a fire and, and why we do it with a ferro rod. I'm just just use a bic lighter. Um, so I've decided to do that. Except for my lighter sprung a leak. So what do you do if you got a broken lighter? It smells like fish. <laughs> so there you go. What do you do if you got a lighter that has a hole in it? Or one that's just broken. All right, eventually I'm gonna turn this into a short, but for now we're gonna do it right here on this piece of wood. Now you don't even need a bushcraft knife with it. Um, you just need a way to get the shavings off the case of this thing. And you can scrape with your edge. I prefer the spine, because it doesn't screw up the whole thing. And so if you couldn't guess by now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pile of case shavings here. So without further ado, we're gonna scrape this. You're gonna scrape the case. Makes a lovely sound too. And they're extremely staticky, so they're gonna stick to everything. And once you get some chunky ones, make some really, really wispy ones. They are a real pain in the butt. Now leave the ones there on your knife for now. Set that aside and gather up these bits of very staticky things of plastic. Now the next thing you do, I'm going to grab these things off of here and attempt to stick them right on the top. Like I say attempt because static. So they're going to want to stick to your clothing, they're going to stick to your knife, they're going to want to stick to everything. So just, if you got to go one at a time, go one at a time. And once you get them there, try to keep them in a pile here. You want this pile to be fairly together, all intertwined. And now the next step, which is the secret ingredient. Everybody wears clothing, and I've done this with polyester, with cotton, and with wool, even though wool is the worst to do it with. Come over here. Welcome to my pant leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape it and get some cotton fluff off of there. Don't do this enough that you ruin your pants, obviously. you're going to cut loose some fibers like that. Gather these up. Don't try try not to mash this cuz you want this to be as fluffy as possible. And just get that in your hand like that. You see that? Yeah, get it just a small tuft of that. You might want to get a bit more than that, but for our purposes, this I hope will do. And you're going to take this and you're going to try to get it right up here into sort of into your plastic. Again, don't crush it, but you want it so that um, you can see that it's just, it's right up in the plastics business. You, you want the plastic around it, above it, any which way you can get it. That's that's how you, you do it. So I'm attempt to like get some of this plastic and move it up on the pile here. Like I said, you don't need a bushcraft knife or anything fancy. This is just an OTF knife. And then the next step is take your lighter. Oh, careful, buddy. Take your lighter and get this housing off. You can even use this, this housing to scrape your plastic, although it's kind of a pain to do, but jiggle that thing off of there. And it does have sharp edges, so you can open it up like this and uh, find an edge on there and, uh, and scrape the plastic. So you can do it that way, but this that is ridiculously time-consuming. But it's possible to do it like that. Next thing is you want to take this now. Inside these things, I took one apart for you is a wheel like this and a spring and underneath on top of that spring right at the base of the of there right next to that nozzle a small ferro rod just about the same diameter as that spring it's about quarter inch long um, it's not not long at all and that wheel has a has a a file in the center there that in one direction cuts into that ferro rod and makes makes dust Grind some onto my hand for you here. You see the slight discoloration on my hand there? Right there? That's all you're getting. It's just the finest, lightest powder. 
So what you're gonna do is take this and run that wheel as close as you can get it over the top of the lint and some of the plastic here. And you're gonna be here a minute, trust me. The more you can get on there in one spot, the better. This whole method hinges on creating enough heat to ignite this plastic. So I'm just gonna fast forward here and we'll be back when I think I've got enough on here. Now if you're spinning this wheel and it stops spinning, it's because you hit the spring and you're out of ferro. You're out of the, your rod's gone, so you're you're screwed at that point. Better get a hand drill out. Ah, oh, dang it, I struck it. If you accidentally strike it, start over. It's not a big deal, it's just time. We all have it. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ignite all of it. But also one thing to keep in mind, after this burns, the ash turns into an insulator. And so getting the plastic to then ignite is almost undoable. Let me get some of these good ones over there. Put those, yeah, that's good, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep, keep grinding dust over that. All right, once you get a pile of it, then we're gonna, we're gonna get this nozzle, nozzle, we're gonna, yeah, put the nozzle basically, the striker right up in there. Let me see if we can get a good view of this going. Hopefully we make a fire. Oh, and there we go. Okay, now the plastic's burning. Well, that's interesting. This one is, is basically smoke-free. The last one I did was not. But there is a flame there. And it can be used to start a fire. That is interesting. Oh, maybe I was using the wrong kind of lighter. I was using a lighter from the dollar store. But there you go. That, my friends, is how you start a fire with a Bic lighter and some dryer lint or some clothing shavings. There you go. I'm going to see if I can make a short out of this, but I love your faces, and uh, I will see you guys on the, on the next adventure.